Hi, I'm Yin Song Tsai, a graduate student in CPES. I will give a presentation of the bounty resonance switch capacitor converter. The work is done by Owen John, a CPES alumni. The figure shows the conventional server rack application to power CPUs and GPUs in data centers. It has AC, UPS, and 12-volt backplane. As power consumption increases, however, this architecture can no longer provide high-efficiency operation due to many conversion stages and high distribution loss. Hence, Google pro uh, proposed a new 48-volt architecture, where the AC UPS is replaced by the DC UPS in the rack. The backplane becomes 48-volt to reduce the distribution loss. The new architecture, however, imposes extra challenges in designing the 48-volt VRM. This figure shows the two-stage architecture for the 48-volt VRM. The first stage is an unregulated switch capacitor converter. The conversion ratio is 4 to 1, which gives 10 to 15 volt bus, con bus voltage. The switch capacitor converter largely reduce the magnetic component and improve the power density. And then we use multiple point of load bus, bus converter to supply different loads such as CPU, GPU, and DDR. The design goal is to explore the new resonance switch capacitor converter. This figure shows a 2 to 1 resonance switch capacitor converter. By adding a small inductor resonating with the flying capacitor, the capacitor achieves soft charging. Because C2 is much smaller than CO, the switching frequency equal the resonant frequency of C2 and LR, and the current waveform is a complete sine waveform. However, the drawbacks of the RSCC are First, it requires stable resonant frequency, hence class 1 capacitors have to be used. Th second, it requires controller to do zero current detection. And third, it is hard to match two or more resonant tanks for higher voltage re conversion ratio DCX. To address these issues, the multi-resonant switch capacitor converter is proposed. First, we make the switching frequency higher than the resonant frequency, and a small capacitor is placed in parallel with, S, but with LR, introducing a second resonant loop, LRCR, and we make the second resonant period, T2, much smaller than the dead time. During the dead time, LR resonates with CR and help LR inverting the current direction. So here in the waveform, we can see that because of the LR and the CR resonating, the inductor current direction is reversed. In addition, because we always run the converter at switching frequency higher than resonant frequency, no, no complicated control is necessary. And here we, show the, we compare the converter performance with C2 variation. While RRCC efficiency are impacted by the C2 tolerance, the MRCC provides similar efficiency regardless of the variation. Finally, we make a comparison between MRCC and STC, which is the 41 RSCC. For fair comparison, same PCB is used. Here we show the per parameters, and this is the test result. We can see MRCC achieves higher efficiency across full load range. This is the multi-resonant switch capacitor converter, and we can see the first resonant tank, L1, and uh, C1. The second tank, which is uh, DC filter capacitor, C2 and third resonant tank, L3 and uh, C3. And on the top, we have 
Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, four devices. And on the bottom, we have the other six devices, Q5, Q2, Q10. So we have three devices on the top and the other three on the bottom. This is the waveform of resonance switch capacitor converter. The first waveform is the gate signal. The second waveform is the VDS of Q10. And the third waveform is the resonant current. So we can see the uh, current waveform is a complete sine waveform, which means switching frequency equal resonant frequency. And this is the desired operating condition. However, if switching frequency is not equal to uh, resonant frequency due to component tolerance, like capacitor and inductor, the waveform will change. And in this current waveform, we will observe higher RMS current and higher conduction loss. This is the waveform of the MRCC, the multi-resonance switch capacitor. So first we can see the current waveform now is more like square waveform, which naturally has smaller RMS than the sine wave. And if we add tolerance, we can see the current waveform change a little bit, but still square-like. So the RMS current is not sensitive to the tolerance. Thank you for watching the video.